guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be super fun because it's gonna be something I've never done before and I just kind of wanted to try it out, see how this video goes and just kind of have some fun. So recently my family and I were cleaning out some boxes from the garage and we came across my old diary from when I was probably like 12. I was in fifth grade. So we are going to read this together because it's just so funny and the mere fact that this journal diary is cat in a hat is just so funny. I think I got this when I went to either the book fair or when we went to Islands of Adventure for our field trip. It's just really weird how things play out in life because I did end up working at Universal for a period of time in Seuss Landing. So just having this is already kind of like ironic and funny. Before we get into it, if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. I post normally three times a week and we just have some good times here. Super random, kind of whatever I want to do. Like this video. Also follow me on Instagram if you are not already. I feel like I forget to mention that every video. So anyway, let's just get on to what I wrote. So I only kept up with this journal diary thing for a couple days because I mean let's face it I don't really like to write but it is kind of funny that I documented things kind of like I do on YouTube and Instagram and stuff it's just in a different form but I gave up with this quite fast the first thing we have is this book belongs to Alex Blankenship and I always felt the need to like write my name and like everything maybe it's the only child in me but we have like thing one and thing two and the little stripes which is so funny and then moving on to the first entry and keep in mind my spelling is probably better than that it is now I hate spelling things I still have to look stuff up on Google when I don't know something because or just want to check to double check because I feel like my spelling is so bad. So this entry was from 2007, it was May 15th. Today I just got this journal. I'm at school and the class is cleaning up because it's close to the end of the year and getting ready for the summer. I'm happy that I going into middle school <laughs> But I'm also sad to leave fifth grade and of course that's elementary. I still talk this way, let's face it. Today was the book fair and I got three books. First I got this book. Okay, so I did get this one at the book fair, not on our field trip. Then I got this book called The Cat and then I got the Book of World Records. I loved reading that. The Book of World Records is probably my favorite book. Like I love seeing, you know, the biggest car and like the person who can swallow the sword. I don't know, I find that just like really entertaining. And that was quite long. So I got those books, <laughs> the three books. Then I dropped off my books in the classroom and went, oh, and I made a note same day <laughs> on this page to specials. What? That's weird. And then, I don't know what that is. After that, I came back and looked through the Book of World Records. Then I helped organize the dictionaries. Then I cleaned out my locker. Except for my, except for my invention project. Then I writing in this book. Weird. And now I'm going to lunch. After lunch, I'm going to recess. And I definitely spelled recess wrong, but I think I would spell that wrong like now if I had to try to spell that word <laughs> because I spelled it R-E-S-S-E-S. -S -E -S. And after that, I think we are just going to do some more work and then school's out for the day. And I'm going to dance, obviously. I always went to dance after school. And then I come home and go to bed. Goodbye. Only I made a note that that was spelled wrong and I still do that because I spelled by B-E-Y. Like half the time I feel like I'm dyslexic because when I spell words, like the letters are all jumbled, but I've never actually been clinically like diagnosed with that. I just feel like I had that sometimes. Okay, moving on. This is the next day. So 5-16 of 07. Well, I'm just about to get in the shower and so I need to hurry up for today days writing. So I mean, it's like, I don't want to write in this thing. Um, it's just the same old, same old. I still say that. And I 
regular day, but we did do some more stuff that was more fun. Oh, wow. And that's pretty much it. Also, I'm excited that my class and the whole fifth grade is going on this field trip called Pirates Dinner Theater, and that's going to be lots of fun. Peace out. Oh wait, there's more after that field trip. Same day, I made notes of this. The whole fifth grade is doing a carnival and that's also going to be fun. So we're gonna do this carnival thing, I guess. Um, and then this is the next day, so 5.17 of 07. Today was kind of fun because I got to go up on stage for the pirate dinner show and I put it in quotations, but the rest for me was kind of boring, especially in the beginning of it. The beginning of it was kind of stupid. <laughs> to me. Oh my gosh. I was very, I guess, very strongly opinionated even back then. Um, there was different colors like for the teams. I was on the yellow team. Ours was pretty good, but we still kind of lost and that's pretty much it for the field trip. But tomorrow is going to be more fun. I think because tomorrow, and I wrote Tom and I still write Tom for tomorrow just because it's just easier to shorten it that way. So I guess I de developed that habit pretty early on in life is our carnival. I don't know what there's going to be there, but I still think it's going to be more fun than the Pirates Dinner Show. I really didn't like that show apparently back then. And then the other day after that is going to be my dance review. I don't think you know this, but I dance and I love to do it too. I go to dance competitions all the time and I'm going to two national competitions too. There's a lot of twos in that. Also, I'm going to New York for one of my national competitions just like last year. Well, back on topic, I still say that some things just really never change. The next day is one of my best, uh, one of my friend's birthday parties. Her name is Alexa and she's so nice. Then on Monday is graduation. I'm going on to middle school and that's going to be fun. Guys, I was so nervous to go to middle school and like change classes because I don't know, I was just nervous like couldn't find my way and stuff. And I still get nervous trying to find things because my direction abilities are not strong. And um, the funny thing is like for my job, I have to like go and like find different places where events are being held. So I always leave like super early just in case to build in some time um, so I can not feel so rushed and pressured yeah i was always so nervous about going to middle school because of like changing classes and stuff okay this is still the same day then after graduation is summer in all capital letters and that's going to be really fun i have a lot of things planned for this year's summer well i can't name all of the places where i'm going but when i'm there i'll write in you oh it's like write in you because like i'm talking to the book that's kind of funny and i'll tell you where i am after that I'm going into middle school. Oh my gosh, I'm still like obsessing over middle school and that's going to be fun, but a little scary. Oh well, I've got to get in the shower. So see you later, alligator. And I spelled alligator so wrong. Ooh, that's rough. Okay, this is 5.18.07. The carnival was fun. I did a lot of thing there too. First, I did this race thing with my BFFL, wow, <laughs> this shows you how old I am, which stands for best friends for life. I felt like I needed to like explain that. And then all of the rides for the kids were all blown up. There was a dunk booth only for the teachers. I almost dunked Mrs. Fox, my BFFL, Cecilia's teacher. I didn't get to dunk my teacher because the line was too long. Then Cecilia and I went to a water slide and got our butts, only I spelled butts wrong, all muddy. Then we got free ice pops, popcorn, and water. Then we <laughs> left to go back to our classrooms the same day. I love how I like really make sure that you know it's the same day. Then I got signed out early because I went to see my dance teacher, Miss Amanda, be the bird in the Lion King. Also, by the way, my acro teacher is married to my dance teacher and he is a tumble monkey in The Lion King as well. My dance teacher was just subbing for the bird because she was the original bird and then she and then she quit. And my acro teacher is an original tumble monkey 
It's part of the Festival of the Lion King show, that's kind of the context of this. And the Lion King is how they met. Yep, the Lion King show, Festival of the Lion King. Well, back on topic, after that we went to dinner at the Rainforest Cafe. I can't wait for tomorrow because Tom, again short, tomorrow is my dance review. I'm in a lot of dances because I'm in company, which means I get to go to competitions and compete with other dance schools. It's a lot of fun, but the review is probably more fun because you are not getting judged and if you mess up, it's basically no big deal. <laughs> That's true. I was always like less nervous at reviews. You just go out and have fun and you get to do all your dances that you've learned all year. So that is what I'm doing tomorrow. I shortened it to Tom. And I'm going to my friend named Samantha's birthday and that's tomorrow. Later, and then I wrote a little later, <laughs> smiley face. And actually, Samantha, I think the person that I went to her birthday, obviously Samantha. She also, I believe, went to OXA with me. I think that's the Samantha. There was only like one Samantha and she just honestly went by Sam. So I don't know why I wrote her full name, but she went to OXA with me, I think about the same year. I think it was seventh grade. But um, moving on to 5.19.07. Well, it's 11 o'clock at night and oh my gosh, I went to bed that late still. Like, oh my gosh. And I just got home from dance review. Oh, it was a dance review, okay. It was great, except the dressing room was really crowded. <laughs> I think I have about nine or ten dances and I had to do some quick changes and that was really hard. I did great on my dances except I kind of messed up on Alice, the big eight minute long production number. Feed turning all of the company featuring oh my gosh i spelled featuring wrong all of the company members and i kind of messed up on me and my shadow sherry and i's dance and that's pretty much it so sherry and i actually had a tap duet and i would love to do a, like a reaction with her to that dance so if you want to see that then um comment down below but we did a mother daughter tap duet. Oh, and then I said goodbye. I always love to like finish my stuff, like say the end when it was the end or bye or later or goodbye. Okay. So 520, we're almost done guys. Alexa's B day was really fun. We got our hair and makeup done at justice. Then I don't remember anything about that birthday to be honest. Then at six, I met up with my other BFFL at Epcot, a Disney theme park. Her name is Olivia and she has a little sister named Taffy. And I still do talk to Olivia, so it's kind of nice. If she watches this, hey, Olivia, sometimes she watches my stuff, so. And she's the, also the one that was friends with the criminal I spent the night with. I mean, well, not the actual, well, I did spend the night at his house, but if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below, but it's such a good video, you should check it out. So anyway, still talk to her. We went to Epcot to have dinner and we rode the Mexico ride and we took pictures with our cell phones. Oh, that was back in the day. Yeah, we probably had such a good time with our flip phones and stuff. Then Olivia took a fall with her Heelys. Oh my gosh, do you guys remember Heelys? Those are so in a type of shoe that rolls. And then since, only I spelled since wrong, since I forgot my Heelys and she fell, I got to ride on them for the rest of the evening. And then they had to go and I left to, and now I'm going to get in the shower. Peace out. And my smiley face has a peace sign as a nose. That's disturbing. 52107. Today it was graduation. It was fun too. I had cake and a drink and it was very fancy. Then I came home early and watched TV. Oh my gosh, that's back when I actually watched TV. Then I went swimming and played with my pet dog, Oreo. Oh, Oreo. If any of you guys still remember Oreo, that was like a way back when, so. But some of my viewers, if you guys know me in real life, would know about my dog. Then I came inside and pet my two cats, Jazz and Disco. Well, unfortunately, Disco got sick from something. I'm so sympathetic and I don't know what but she just stopped eating and got skinnier. But I think she's getting better. Back on topic, 
Then I went to MGM, another Disney theme park, to celebrate my graduation, and we ate at the Sci-Fi Drive-In. Oh my gosh, that's still one of my favorites. Where they pretend that you are in a real, only oh, spelled real with two L's, car, and you eat in it, and that's how it worked back in the olden days. <laughs> now I got to get in bed, so bye. And that is where my entries stopped, so I, I kept up with this for like a week. My handwriting is super sloppy, but anyway. So that, my friends, is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't believe I kind of documented stuff even back then. I mean, at least attempted to with my abilities. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.